Microsoft open sourced their Windows subsystem for Linux. But it is a trap and let me tell you why. If you did not know, Windows subsystem for Linux allows anyone to use Linux based operating systems directly from Windows 11. And I don't mean the virtual machine stuff. I mean well integrated environment where you can access the command line tools of the Linux distribution from the Windows terminal itself. If you just run WSL dash dash install in the PowerShell window, it will install Ubuntu by default, by the way. But that's not the only Linux distribution WSL supports. You can install Alma, Debian, Fedora, and even Arch Linux, by the way, using this tool. This is not an installation guide video, by the way. I will attach a link in the description of a written guide. You can check it out if you are interested in that. So why is Microsoft suddenly trying to love open source again? A multi-billion dollar company trying to embrace something which does not appear to profit them at all. Well, it is a trap. It's a trap. And I'm going to tell you how in this video. To understand why it is a trap, you first got to know what kind of company Microsoft has been in the past. Its promises, delivery, and so on. And what's other way to start, other than the Windows 11 operating system itself? Windows 11 is the latest version of Windows by Microsoft. And with the latest stuff, there came a lot of restrictions. It is now compulsory to have a Microsoft account. Also, if your PC does not have a TPM chip, guess you can't upgrade to Windows 11. Windows 11 promised a fresh new look and support for Windows Subsystem for Android through which you can test apps for Android directly on Windows as well as Windows Subsystem for Linux which does the same thing for Linux tools. The interface change is something nobody asked for and frankly I prefer the start button on the left side of the screen and not in the middle. Anyway, Microsoft dropped support for Windows Subsystem for Android a long time ago and while it was exclusive to Windows 11, there is a GitHub repo which makes it run on Windows 10 and that too without the Amazon App Store dependency, even after the development has stopped. So Microsoft did not need Windows 11 for Windows Subsystem for Android. And it's not just about Windows 11. Microsoft and other big companies are known to embrace, extend and extinguish the projects. First, they embrace the open source projects, extend it, add support and often strict Microsoft dependencies and then finally extinguish the project. So less competition for their own products. And you got to shell out money to the company to use their products since there is no other alternative. And the ethics is not the only problem with Microsoft. There's freaking ads in the start, even when you paid for the software. And there's the whole privacy concern about the recall feature, which Microsoft is soon going to add even after the backlash. If you did not know, it takes a screenshot of your screen every 30 seconds. And when you ask Copilot about an activity you were doing, it will just be able to recall that. The bad thing about it is that even your passwords are saved in recall on the Microsoft servers in a screenshot. And even if it is stored locally, which Microsoft said it will be going forward, does not solve the issue. As what if someone else accesses your PC? Maybe your family member is using a PC? They will also have access to your passwords, which does not sound safe. These features and ethics does put a big question mark on the face of Microsoft. Now, let's get back to the main story. If you are a developer, then Linux-based distribution provides the best environment for you. It has a terminal and whatever tools you need can be installed from right here. And Python is even pre-installed and is a core part of the operating system. Microsoft knows this and because so many computers are also going to their end of life, thanks to Windows 11 requirements, it is kind of desperate. Obviously, it does not want people to switch to its competitive operating systems. Open sourcing WSL is kind of a gesture a desperate company does, as to show support for an open source community while their end goal remains the same, extract as much profit from their proprietary products. They want you to keep using Windows and tie you into their ecosystem. How else they will keep selling the license to PC and laptop manufacturers? So they offer you these chocolate sprinkles on top of their sour and are even argue a rotten product and don't even mention about the telemetry it collects. Plus, the co-pilot button Microsoft is forcefully shoving down your throat. Microsoft, I don't want AI, especially when it is trained on my data on the internet without my consent. There's not much to summarize except whichever big company it is, they're obviously doing anything for profit. Obviously, they're not going to open source Windows 10 or 11. That's their main money-making machine and they do not want the customer to not use it. So they will negotiate with you as much as they can. I of course welcome Microsoft for open sourcing WSL, but 
I will recommend you to fully switch to Linux instead of trying these half-baked solutions. That is all for you. See you in the next one.